Medina district. We will take this privilege as we host the 90th anniversary of the Presbytery to introduce to you the Medina district. The Medina district, though one of the youngest in the Presbytery, seems to be one of the biggest districts that we can talk of today when we talk of Gang Presbytery. Medina District is involved in a lot of projects. The major one that we have almost completed is our office complex where we will house the district minister, the entire staff, the secretary, the various directorate will be having their offices from where we will operate to make sure that we are going to have an effective office activities for the district. The district is also envisaging in getting involved in building up a senior high school at Maijo. We have been fortunate for the chief there to give us a large tract of land. And therefore, we, the plans are fast advanced for us to commence a senior high school, which purely is going to be a private issue. The size of land given to the church was about 12 acres of land and when this land was given the church did duly recognize the chief for what they have done and uh, we are eternally grateful to them for giving us this parcel of land for use by the church. We want to thank the chief Ni Opelo Ablosoa and his elders who were so kind that they gave this large parcel of land to the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and to the Lord Jesus Christ for use for propagating the gospel. And we are hoping that when we start, we will add up to the precepts that we already have in the Ghana Presbytery. The Medina district, as we have already said, is made up of major big stations. And we have a couple of preaching posts and nursing stations which make working in Medina very, very interesting and complex at the same time. And so if you really want to enjoy the various complexes of ministry, then you are welcome to Medina. As part of our complex ministries, we have a special ministry to the Kayai, whom the district Bible study and prayer group on behalf of the district mission and evangelism department visit weekly to have an interactions with them give them the word of god after which there is refreshment for them and that ministry is catching up very very busy with them the savior congregation is situated right in the midst of Madina zone and they are surrounded by muslim brethren but thanks be to god the congregation have managed been able to establish a very good living and working relationship with our Muslim brothers. I think it's something this congregation must be proud of. Uh, we, we are here, we are with um, the Muslims, we see them as our brothers and our sisters. A lot of their children in our school here and when we come to PTA meetings we sit with them and uh, we discuss issues about their children and the school and everything has been going on well. We've not spoken against them. They have not spoken against us. We haven't looked up on their religion. They haven't done that to us also. Now, whenever um, there are activities, when we have some like games, our boys will go call them and they will all participate in the games and other things. So we've lived with them and I believe that it is a success story for people to come and then we are going to do even more and we're going to see how we can still strengthen the relationship we've built with them so far. The number of students is growing, so we are trying to build more classrooms. But then we also realize that the church too is growing, and now a time will come when we will need a more permanent pastor for the church. Um, those we've had so far, they live outside the compound, and so uh, sometimes when church members need them, they cannot get them. So we need to build a manse for the church. Even though we occupy a very small space, we 
are going to find ways of doing it. So we have the school building. We want to build more classrooms and we want to build a manse also. Those are the immediate um, projects that are ahead of us. Programs held in the evenings. You don't have many people attending. Some people work far away in Accra. Others, um, they don't get here on time. But we are still trying to tell them to try as much as possible to participate in those programs. Wednesdays and Saturdays are the market days for Medina. If you have programs, you don't get people participating. We have problem with finances, but we know that um, God will give us the wisdom to see how to handle those challenges. We encourage all other congregations who find themselves of other faith or living within the community of other faiths to learn from Savior congregation and live at peace with all of them. As we narrow down to Emmanuel congregation, which happens to be the head station of the Medina district, they are involved in water project and harvesting rainwater to really turn it into a portable and drinking water. The project has been on the drawing board for the past five years. But thanks be to God, we have been able to establish and finish it. And that will be dedicated on the 22nd of April 2012. And we are providing water for the congregation, for the community, because we all know that Madina have a lot of difficulty with water. And we see this project as an excellent project to enhance ministry at Madin. The district is blessed with a vibrant youth ministry that promotes the cause of youth work at all times. All congregations have a well-established youth ministry within their setup and they are playing their God-given roles effectively. Medina District boasts of 15 congregations and 7 preaching posts. By the grace of God, we've had many successes. Spiritually, uh, we are increasing in number. Almost every Sunday, we have about 6, 7 people coming to join us. And thanks to the good leadership, our presbyters are very cooperative. They are disciplined, and the various groups and their leaders, they are all putting in every effort to help raise the church. I started a three-story building for the expansion of the school. We are now on the ground floor. Hopefully by uh, September this year, the ground floor will be ready to be occupied by uh, junior high school. The district has positively impacted the Medina populace and beyond with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has also supported the community in various forms ranging from the religious through to education as well as developing the social religious welfare.